Seems like you need to be solaced. Hello, dear friends of adventure. There are frequent reports of accidents caused by the mishandling of computer games. To minimize the risk of a crippling deformity, we recommend that you strictly comply with all of the following safety guidelines. Do you want to play the tutorial? You've decided to play the tutorial. That's very smart of you. And because you paid attention, you also know that with all these leaves here, the convent garden needs a good raking. Lily has already picked up the rake. Accordingly, the cursor now shows the picture of a rake. To discover the spot, check, check. Okay, we're working. Cool. Good. This is what we wanted. Spots where Lily can rake, simply press the space bar. Why don't you just try it out right now? Would you look at that? All right. Red eyes show which items can be used. Mm -hmm. Apparently, there are three piles of leaves that Lily can use with the rake. Just move the cursor over one of the piles until the name of the item appears next to it. You can now make the move with a left mouse click. Right. Be careful. Accidents can happen so quickly. Okay. What do you What do you mean by that? Diggity. Okay. In the first step without giving anyone a deep flesh wound. <laughs> oh. But your work isn't done yet. That's some sort of foreshadowing. For Mother Superior. It can't be that hard, can it? For Mother Superior. Are we in Catholic school or something? Okay. Wait, I'm confused. Yeah, I'm confused. What's that noise outside? 
Nothing. Whoa, that's a never-ending task. Yeah. Maybe you have to come up with something else to complete this job. Press the space bar again. Maybe there's another place where you can break. Okay. Uh, it's unbearable. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Lily, now yeah. Have it up, I guess I up to where? I guess. I guess not. Uh, it doesn't matter. Mm. I have two new tasks for you. Ooh, new the tasks. In the backyard have to be dug up again. Again? That? I don't think so. I oh, I guess I can. We'll see. And while you're in the backyard, the swing tree is infested by termites. Termites. Something to get rid of them for good. Oh. So, one more time. For the really clueless. First, dig up the flower beds. Second, get rid of the termites infesting swing tree. You'll be very sorry if you don't do a good job. Okay. Lily has finished raking. She's no longer holding the rake in her hand, but she's still got it with her. Okay. If you would like to use it again, you can find it in Lily's inventory. Got it. Move the mouse cursor to the lower right edge of the screen to open the inventory. Be careful you don't get your finger caught. Amputations are such unhappy affairs. Yeah. Good. Now, okay. I have yarn. Symbol with the left mouse button to pick up the rake again. You can now use the rake with other objects at any time, even with other inventory items. Sweet. When you're done, use the right mouse button to carefully put the rake back into the inventory. This hadn't been very effective, but Lily still felt that she had gotten much closer to her goal. Hey. Now that Lily has been relieved of her first Okay. Game, it's time to get familiar with the basic game mechanic. Okay. Press the left mouse button to send Lily where wherever you want. Whenever Lily can leave a location, the cursor changes into an arrow. First follow Edna in the backyard. The exit can be found at the right edge of the monitor. Be careful. That arrow there is sharp. When doing garden work, remember, stay alert. The cursor changes whenever Lily can interact with an object. Most objects can be examined. Right. So an eye will appear on the right half of the cursor. Click with the right mouse button to execute this action. Okay. Why don't you try it on the compost barrel? Compost barrel. Okay. The yard waste was rotting away leisurely in the composting bin. Got it. A paradise for maggots and spiders. Spiders. Couldn't stop watching the fascinating activity in there. There are many items that you can interact with. Whenever an item can be used, a corresponding symbol is shown in the left half of the cursor. For example, you could suggest that Lily uses the tie swing. But whether that is really such a good idea, The tire swing was dangling invitingly above the chasm from a termite-eaten branch. I'm gonna use the tire swing. Lily would have loved to have played on the completely harmless tire swing. Uh-uh. No! immediately climbed on the termite-infested tree. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. She would have done that, but apparently she preferred the risk of getting into deep trouble as soon as the player signed off. Luckily, that turned out well. Next to the hand that stands for use, take, and eat drink is also a speech bubble for talk. The computer automatically selects the right icon. This is okay. that Lily neither puts her hand in a hornet's nest nor eats thumbtacks. Seeing as you're already here, have a chat with Lily's friend Edna. She will certainly be pleased. Will she? Hi. You finally get out of doing your stupid raking chore? Yeah, huh? Very good. Yeah. You finally got time to go treasure hunting with me? Uh-uh. What? Did you get even more chores to do? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. so unfair. And maybe we can still find a way for you to help me. That would be cool. Lily yeah. Lily discuss various topics. 
Okay. Are displayed as symbols at the bottom of the screen. The meaning of each symbol is displayed when you move the mouse over them. Any dialogue can be ended with a red X at any time. First, select the topic chores assigned by Mother Superior. Oh, okay. Um, this what one. What do you have to do for Mother Superior now? Don't tell me you have to scrape off her warts with a pumice stone again. Oh, uh, gross. Finding crumbs in our bunk from last time. Lily can sometimes expand on a topic. In this case, Robert, hello. Two new tasks, but you can also use the arrow to return to the first level of dialogue and choose another topic. Return to the first level and end the dialogue with X to close the tutorial. Or you can talk a while with Edna. I can't teach you anything more anyway. Have fun playing. Okay, g goodbye, mister. Goodbye, mister. Don't bother, Lily. You'll Why not? Pick up the treasure without a shovel. We need a shovel. We need... Okay, so I, I need shovel. Termites. Do something with termite. Go tree, tree. The swing tree was crawling with termites. Yeah, it sure is. Why did Mother Superior dislike these cute little animals so much. Cause she's a bitch. What a bitch. Okay, um, okay. Let's just talk with Edna. Hi, Lily. Hi, Lily. I mean, hiya. Fuck. What do you have to do for Mother Superior now? Don't, Don't tell me you have to scrape off her with with the pumice stone again. I'm still finding crumbs in our bunk from last time. Wait, Lily. Wait. This is an especially hard spot. Yeah. Okay. Oh, what a drag. Yeah. This is ruining all my calluses. And it took me so long to nurture them. These flower beds could really use some digging. Yeah. Can you tell me that's exactly what Mother Superior ordered you to do? Yeah. That's fabulous. <laughs> You'll be able to help me dig up the treasure after all. You yes. You've been kind of told to by the Lord. All you <laughs> still need is a shovel. Um, the shovel, um, Lily. The shovel. You'll never dig up the treasure without a shovel. Um, uh... Where we can find a shovel either. I'd imagine they're kept in the cellar. The cellar! We need to find a way to get down into the cellar. You can't walk through walls by any chance, can you? Uh. uh. We really have to teach you how to do that one of these <laughs> days. But first, you should concentrate on the shovel. It has top priority. It does. Uh, termites. We told you to get rid of the termites on the swing tree, right? Yeah. <sighs> It was just a question of time. Does she even realize how hard it was to collect them all? I even broke into the firefighters museum to get the large red ones. And then all the trouble I went to teaching them tricks. They can already do a polonaise if you lay a trail of jelly. I wanted to teach them the cha-cha next. The cha-cha! Maybe you can relocate them instead of blasting them out or whatever else it was you had planned. I'd even help you, but I run out of jelly. Uh, no more jelly! Still worried about the termites? Yeah. I'd really love to help you. Please do. I don't have any more jelly to lure the little darling someplace else. Then get some. We can buy ourselves a whole jelly factory, or even uh, a honey farm. Honey I farm. Think it's much cooler than jelly anyway. It sticks to the bottoms of your shoes better. And if we had a honey farm, we could also train the bees. The bees? There's still a chance for my project. He poles for the Great Wall of China, after all. The bees? <laughs> Alright. End dialogue. Let's go back. I forgot to... Okay. Moving forward. On and on we go. Cellar window? Can I get in? Am I too big? <gasps> I... F Ooh, I fit. Okay. Can I re- Oh, I can reach it. Progress. The idea was good. 
Lily Lee's arms were too short. Right, 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 right. There's a shovel, yeah. But Lily's arms were too short. Lily knew that this device was called an air hammer, but she didn't know why anyone would want to hammer air. Yeah, I don't, I don't know either. Suggested grass, red, pigeon. Lily assumed these cans were meant for the cafeteria. Yeah, I would assume so too. A shovel. A shovel. Exactly what Lily needed. Yes, it is. But she'd never get to it from here. No. Okay. To the cellar door. The cellar door could only be opened with the correct key. Point and click can be really frustrating. Oh, I'm sure. I'll get. I will uh, eventually figure it out. I'm sure. Freeman, hello. Bees nest. Lily liked bees. I like Their bees. Was so sweet. And they were always so busy collecting honey. Yeah. If you look closely, you could even see their stingers twinkle cheerfully in the sunlight. Oh, off to the covenant. Okay, I can go to the covenant if I wanted. I have a garden hose now. Don't think I need to. Let's talk to Freeman. Hmm? I thought somebody was there. Hello. Me. I'm busy. Are you? What? What's in the Didn't well? I tell you to leave me alone. I'm trying to concentrate, okay? Why? Something is down there in the well. I can see something sparkling. Oh man, I hope it's the key to the cellar. Ooh, that would be good. That would be so gumbo. Gumbo. <laughs> okay. you have anything to do? Well, Isn't yeah. Something you're supposed to be doing for Mother Superior? Yeah. I knew it. You're such a loser for getting constantly stuck with those jobs. What is it this time? Do you have to alphabetically sort the compost again or remove the hair from her back? Oh god. Let me guess. You have to dig up the flower beds, right? Yep. <laughs> well, good luck. That's mm. going to take forever with your little girly hands. But don't think I'll lend you a shovel when I get into the cellar. That is, unless you do want to help me get the key from the bottom of the well. Uh-uh. No. That's what I thought. Because it's forbidden, right? Oh, man, Lily. You're so straight, it's a miracle anyone can tell you apart from the trees. Rude. God, this guy is rude. I don't like this guy. Let's go, uh, let's go to the covenant. The convent until the gardening had been done. Really? Hopefully it wouldn't start hailing again. Oh god. Hey, get lost. No. Find another place to play. How sweet. Fuck Apparently you. Freeman was worried about Lily. Maybe he wanted to make sure she wouldn't fall into the well. No. I don't think that's it. Hey, get lost. Fuck Find off. To play. How sweet. Apparently Spray Freeman. I can do it myself. Okay, fuck off then. Go back to the pond, I guess. Okay. It was still a mystery what the hose could be used for. Yeah, I don't know either. It was still a mystery what the hose could be used for. Too bad. The, the faucet, faucet was dry. Why is it dry? What else can I click on? Oh, I can click on this bush for some reason. Lily was excited. Yeah. Where could the hose lead to? What a surprise. The hose led to a thing. thing. Yeah. A pump. Lily, turn that off immediately. All right. Can I attach it to the pump? I can. Okay. Lily, turn that off immediately. K. 
Okay, interesting. Hi, Tickle Nickles! Hello! Hello! It is a cute game. I don't know what I'm doing, though. Um... Let's go back to the backyard again. The swing tree was crawling with termites. Why did Mother Superior dislike these cute little animals so much? It's me, dude. I have a brush, I have a rake, and I have a ball of wool. Swing tree was right, right. Crawling with termites. Why did Mother Superior? Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. The yard waste was rotting away leisurely in the composting bin. Yeah. Paradise for maggots and spiders. Yeah. Maybe couldn't stop. Okay. The tire swing was dangling invitingly above the chasm from a termite-eaten branch. Can I swing? I want to swing. Would love to have played on the completely harmless tire swing. Uh -uh. No. That's why she immediately climbed on the termite-infested tree. Uh -uh. I guess not. Maybe she would have done that, but apparently she preferred the risk of getting into deep trouble as soon as the player signed off. <laughs> I love the fourth wall breaks. They're so cute. Okay, let's talk to Edna some more. Hey, Lily, what's new? Okay. I think I heard something. Hmm, maybe not. I thought it might be that guy Freeman who's been hanging around the garden all morning. Seems really annoying. Yeah. This is Mr. Perfect just because he ignores Mother Superior's rules. But has he ever mixed thumbtacks into her cereal? Has he ever set her cat's tail in quick set concrete? I don't think so. Huh. Amateur. Amateur. Mother Superior is having a bad day again, isn't she? Yeah. That wasn't hard to guess. The last good day she had was when everyone got mumped. <laughs> oh. I rarely heard her laugh so hard. Don't let her annoy you too much, okay? What do you have to do for Mother Superior now? You don't tell me you have to scrape off her warts with a pumice stone again. I'm still finding crumbs in our bunk from last time. Um. The shovel, Lily. The shovel, Lily. The treasure without a shovel. I don't know where we can find a shovel. I'd imagine there. In the cellar, we gotta find a way. Nope, can't walk through wall. First, you should concentrate on the shovel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you still working? Yeah. But unfortunately, I don't. When we found the treasure, we can buy our greed and better. I think honey is much Honey is better than jelly. Okay. If we had a honey, maybe there's still a chance for my pro Okay. Got it. Got it. Treasure hunt. Okay, why not talk about it? You're dying to know how the treasure hunting's going, right? Oh, I'm dying to know. To be honest, not so great. Right. It's just too hard. Oh. I will be able to find anything here without a shovel. But I already have lots of cool dirt under my fingernails. <laughs> I even swallowed a slug by accident. A small consolation for Mother Nature. All right. All right. Well, now let's I don't like Freeman, but let's go talk to him again. Hi. Mm -hmm. uh. <gasps> Let me guess. Let me you guess. Don't know what gumbo is, right? Nope. Oh, Lily, you're just hopelessly square. Square. Who so says that? Say that's totally gumbo, or that gumbo's. But you're just lame. Totally oh, I'm lame. Gumbo. Rude. Really, Lily, stop talking so much. Unless, of course, you have an idea how I can get the cellar key. Just think of all the things I could do with it. I hear that awesome stuff is stored down there. 
Not just junk like shovels and brushes and all that. I'm talking about real treasures. You can blab as much as you want. My complete attention is focused on the cellar key at the bottom of the well. Yeah. Where that awesome stuff is stored down there. Yeah. Don't you have anything to do? Yeah. Isn't there something you're supposed to be doing for Mother Superior? Always. <laughs> I knew it. You're such a loser for getting constantly stuck with those jobs. What is it this time? Do you have to alphabetically sort the compost again? God, that would Remove suck. The hair from her back? Oh God, don't get me started. Don't tell me. You're supposed to get rid of the termites on the swing tree, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, good luck. The swing tree's made of sweet licorice, and termites are known for going crazy over candy. Ooh. Never manage it, Never manage it you say? Um. Is this gonna be another one of your lectures about law La and order at the convent? I'm so interested. Boy. What now? Can't you see I'm busy with the well? Or did your oh-so-great Mother Superior forbid that too? Yeah. Uh, that just proves how absurd adults' rules are. We do be kind of dumb. We We're not allowed in the cellar. Jeez, Lily, you're like a broken record. We can't do this. We can't do that. Don't drink motor oil. Don't play with the electrical sockets. You really know how to spoil all the fun. No wonder no one likes you. No one likes me! What? You're still here? Don't creep around like that. I almost fell in the well from fright. Oh, how cute. Are you worried about me now? Or what? Don't worry. I'm not stupid. I'm not gonna climb down into the well. But not because Mother Superior has forbidden it. Just because it really is too dangerous. Although... Do it. Do it. What? I know that Mother Superior doesn't want us climbing into the well. Why don't you tell someone who cares? On the contrary, that's almost an incentive. Do it. Do almost anything to avoid becoming such a conformist little robot like you. Um, I said get lost. Do it. None of your business what I'm doing here. Um, I said get lost. Oh, fuck None off. None of your business what I'm doing here. Maybe if I Hey, get lost. Go oh, find Freeman. Place to play. How sweet. Uh -huh. hello. Maybe he wanted to make sure she wouldn't fall into the well. Hello, how are you, Zap? I love you. How are you doing? No. Lily couldn't paint. No. I'd always start crying. If mood. <laughs> Today is basically your Friday. You just got home from work. Let's go. You got this. Huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the splash, though. Hey! Hello! <laughs> For... to the well. Freeman was gone. Fuck you, Freeman! <laughs> Lily, turn that off immediately. But I don't wanna. I want to keep it on forever and ever and ever and ever. Too bad. The faucet was dry. Milo wasn't following? How rude. Also, my alerts apparently still aren't working even though I troubleshooted them. Either way, thank you for following, Milo. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Have a good stream. I'm alert. Okay, thank- thank. Many thank. Big thank. Okay, now what? What can I do? I can only click on the well in the bee's nest. 
Lily's arms were too short. Oh, I know how to fix that. I know how to fix that. Oh, ah, <laughs> <gasps> well, look at that. Dad, I'm hungry. Would you look at that? Thank you for the sub, Doc. I love you. Thank you. Thank, thank, thank you. I, I, I appreciate you a whole lot. Let fucking uh, let let me let me uh. There it is. Would you look at that? Why did it go off twice? I'm very confused. Not gonna question it. Either way, um, <laughs> I'm just gonna move here. Hello, thank you, thank you for being here. I love you very much. Um, think hi, hello, oh, <laughs> um, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying, trying to, trying to, trying to, trying to play a game. Hello, hi. Today is my day off, and I've done so much adulting today. Like, holy shit. Now you want to watch Monty Python? You're welcome. Nice. Um, I didn't do it at the start of stream. I just jumped straight into the game because I wasn't sure if anyone was here yet. But now that people are here, I have drinks that I can try. I still have this blue cream soda that I haven't done. Buy yourself some pythons and name them all Monty. Hey, that's the way to do it. And I still have two Warhead sodas. I still have green apple and I still have black cherry. Um, if anyone would like to see me try anything, I'm open to trying something. But thank you for being here. I appreciate you guys so much. Thank you so much, Doc, for the resub. That's very awesome of you. I appreciate you so much. Green apple. Eric says green apple. Um. Green apple. I'm just gonna go for it because that's the first thing that was pop that that was said. So. <laughs> This one's a, um, on the level of sour that I've had with the Warhead sodas, this one's closer to the watermelon level, where I get the flavor first and then the sour. So, it's not bad. I will say that. But, um, yeah. That's okay. So, oh, I should probably go back to this screen. There we go. So, what do I do here? Headed home from work, gonna lurk. Thank you. Thank you, Doc. I appreciate you. This hadn't been very effective, but Lily still felt that she had gotten much closer to her goal. Okay, I guess not. Can I talk to Freeman inside the well? No? Am I not able to? Have fun? I will try. I can only click on the well. Can I throw a ball of wool? Nope. Can I... Can I brush? Nope. Okay. Go back to the pond, I guess. Actually, no, let's go back to the backyard and let's talk to Edna. See what she has to say. Because she's been helpful. Hey, Lily. Hi, Lily. Yeah. I'm, I'm Lily. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, okay, nothing new? Really? Okay. Guess I'll have to figure it out myself. Can I use the brush on the termites? Lily quickly realized that she would never get rid of the termites like this. 
Fair enough. A better plan. I guess so. Uh, compost barrel? Too bad for the compost. Too bad for the compost? I don't know what that means. Don't bother, Lily. You'll don't, never okay. Up the treasure. Okay, fine. Can I brush the tire swing? It was hopeless. Hopeless. The tire swing was hanging so far away and seemed so unreachable that Lily thought she could almost see her popularity outlying behind it. What's that mean? Can I just brush the tree? Would like to show the tree all of her great things. Oh well. Uh, okay. All right. So no brush. Rake? No. Okay. Tree? Lily would have liked to show no. Okay. Termites? No. Okay. Compost barrel? Nope. Nope. Can I rake the flower bed? No. Okay. Okay. Let's try the ball of wool, I guess. Uh, okay. Termites? Nope. Tree? Nope. Compost barrel, nope. Can I? In the meantime, Lily had collected many little treasures. I sure have. No treasure was as. That's cute. But we're gonna. Okay, let's just keep going. Okay, is I don't think I can reach anything. No. Yeah, still too short. I can see things, at least. The idea was... Uh, okay. Too big to fit in there. Too bad. Faucet was dry, I know. Lily didn't have to clean her tool now. No? Okay. Use it on the pump, maybe? Experience. Everything in the world could be divided. This no. Okay, anything else? Can I try breaking into the cellar? Can you rake those leaves? That was part of the tutorial, so it won't let me do it anymore. No. Yeah, it won't let me rake the leaves anymore. I'm just going to try, I guess. This. Can I brush the faucet? Lily didn't have no? Okay. Yeah, that's not going to do anything either. Ball of wool? Lily didn't have no? Use the pump? In Lily's experience, every this No. Alright, let's try going back to the well. I said to the well, okay. Now here, the only thing I can click on is the well, because it won't let me go to the covenant. This hadn't been very effective. Okay. This hadn't been very Mother Superior didn't allow Lily to paint since then. This hadn't been very effective. Okay, so I can't combine anything that I currently have. This hadn't been very What am I supposed to do? I feel like I've tried everything on everything. Yes, I have. Off immediately. But did I not tell you exactly what you should be doing? Mm. I can't believe you keep finding new ways to disappoint me. Alright, I just had to keep pissing her off. Lily didn't understand what she had done wrong. I don't get it either. Okay. So I can't click on the pump anymore. Got it. Maybe the pump ran for long enough. Get you to a nunnery. Oh, the f okay, okay. Oh, hi, 
uh, Freeman. Uh, Lily, thanks a lot for your great help. You really did a fantastic job. If I can ever help you, uh, uh you want the cellar key? I do. Not. Uh. What are you thinking? You're the one who got me to go into the well. It's your fault that I fell in. Yeah. But instead of helping me get out, you throw a beehive on my head. I sure you did. Me. Yep. Look at me. Fuck I'm you. Not covered in bee stings. Yep. And smeared from head to toe with honey. You're going to get in trouble now. You're sweet and harmless. But you're actually a walking disaster. Thank you. Forget about the key. You keep away from me. All right, let's get the bees nest. Lily thought about collecting the honey with her bare hands. Am I not allowed then to? She remembered her recent scolding at the cafeteria. She needed a better plan. Jesus fucking Christ. Freeman? I said you're not to go do your own. Go do your chores. Lily didn't want to annoy the bees. Besides They're already annoyed. They were her only friends. Okay, fair, I guess. Can I use Lily the No? Alright, fine. Mother Superior sends Alright, let's try the brush, I guess. Oh! Apparently that gets honey. Oh, it gets honey. It gets honey. Okay. I can use honey for the termites. Oh, I'm tracking honey. The termites responded very excitedly to the honey. Yeah. To lure them away, Lily just had to find a good spot to spread it on. Okay, we're a uh, compost barrel, maybe. The compost bin was the ideal place to move the termites to. Oh, perfect. Lily started right away. Yep. Paint, paint, paint. There you go. So far, the plan had worked well. Maybe a little too well. The termites were now following Lily's spilled honey back into the courtyard. Ha! <laughs> Uh, oh, fuck you, Freeman. From over there. It was probably the termites celebrating their new home. Oh, hell yeah. Alright. Ooh. Edna had apparently left an inscription <coughs> here. Lily was touched. Edna was Lily's best friend. Yeah. So cute. Lily missed the termites. I miss the termites, oh, too. I'm so sad without them. Yeah. Okay. I bet you he dropped the key while he was running. Freeman what the fuck is this? But at least the termites had found a new home on the bench. And as if that weren't reason enough to be happy, they had been joined by one of those funny gnomes that Lily sometimes saw around. Huh? Oh, the key's right there. That's mine. <laughs> it looked like the termites had found a new home. Yeah, congratulations. And the gnomes that Lily saw now and then was in the process of painting it in various colors. Cute. Bad that Freeman was no longer here. Yeah, he fuck Freeman. Liked it too. Nah, he's a dick. Okay, okay, I have the cellar key now. So I can do this. has strictly forbidden the children from playing in the cellar. On the other hand, Lily had a task to finish. Yeah. I have a task. I need to get things. It's not against Lily the rules. Great with Doris, the lunch lady. Oh, I love Doris. Doris would start throwing knives if anyone messed up her pantry. Oh, okay. I guess I won't get the food. Don't know what that does, but I have it a now. Shovel. A shovel. Exactly what Lily needed. Hell yeah. The stove was black and empty. 
sure is. Just like the mirror that always appeared in Millie's dreams. Oh, that's dark. All right. Okay. Um. Now what? Is there anything else I can click on? Yeah. Let's just close the stove again. And let's leave. Okay, I have a shovel now. So let's use it on the flower bed. Yay! You found a shovel. I sure did. Really, you're the best. Let's not waste any time and dig up the treasure. And Edna and Lily began digging out what they thought was a treasure chest. That's quite a treasure chest. Yeah. It looks like it might have belonged to some space pirates once. Ooh. So what? They were space pirates from World War II. <laughs> Who cares? What's more important is that they left us their treasure. Yeah, treasure. I'm so excited. Aerial bomb. <sighs> That's not gonna work. Once again, more proof that the bad reputation law violence has is completely undeserved. Here, we certainly won't get far without it. A real treasure chest. It was hard to tell, but Lily was actually speechless. What's the air hammer? Great. Oh, okay. I should have enough oomph to open the treasure chest. Oh god, I'm scared. What's the matter? What are you waiting for? Don't you know how to use it? No. Ah, oh, don't worry. You'll find something else. Oh, uh oh, okay. Um, use the shovel. That works. Okay. Hmm. What's that supposed to be? Those space pirates must have led a pretty miserable life if this was their most precious treasure. Mm. Well, at least we have a fabulous chest. Yeah. We already have an idea what we can do with it. We'll bury our own treasure. Hell yeah. Have anything on you? Um. <laughs> Some wool from embroidery class? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, it is. Ribbon, the string that ties us both together, so to speak. Come on, put it in there. Okay. Now we just have to bury the chest again. And... Lily, why did the disappear for now? Lily, that's Mother Superior. I why think I'm in trouble. Careful. You should check before she explodes. You uh. Careful, you know. That took much too long for my liking. Is everyone finally here? Freeman is missing, Mother Superior. <laughs> Say nothing more. Your lack of discipline has reached a level that I can no longer tolerate. Oh. From now on, all games on the convent grounds are forbidden. All games? Notice, there will be no more dessert, and bedtimes will be moved up by an hour. And in case you're wondering, it is the bad behavior of one specific student that has led me to take these measures. In my helplessness, I even decided to call on an expert for help. He's a renowned psychologist who will restore discipline and order here in the convent. The I'm... will take place this evening. The doctor will drive the mischief out of you once and for all. And I can guarantee this much. It won't be a pleasant experience. A psychological examination? Oh, Lily. I'm sure this is all about me. I desperately need a plan. Meet me <sighs> near the bed. I'll need your help. You have the rest of the day off? To think about what you've done wrong. I'd better I didn't do anything. You use the time to create more mischief. And Lily, I'm expecting you in my office now. <laughs> I'm very disappointed in you, Lily. Oh, there's a kitty. Do anything right. Um, I'm sorry. Not another word. Your constant excuses just make me even angrier. Well, then get angry, God, just Jesus. Like an idiot. Well. Can't you see how emaciated Lumpy has gotten again? Oh, stupid fucking child! You feed your own fucking cat!
Lumby's bowl was nicely decorated. Life <sighs> as Mother Superior's pet was probably wonderful and fulfilling. Yeah, I bet. Lumpy was hungry. Oh, or poor Lumpy. Or, or he was boy. tired. Okay. It was always hard to tell with him. A pot of plant. Cat, cat food. Oh. Oh, there's a fucking... Cat food. In the pet bowl. Oh, what on earth are you doing? I'm feeding the cat! Then what the fuck does Lumpy eat? But you disappointed me for the last time. Here's the recipe for the right cat food. Bring it to Doris, the lunch lady. It contains exact instructions for preparing Lumpy's food. Doris can also find my lunch order for today on there too. Do you understand? Uh huh. And now get out. I have to prepare for Dr. Marcel's arrival. I'm hoping that his new method of correcting character flaws will save me this kind of trouble in the future. Lily felt miserable. Maybe yeah. Superior was right, and this character correction would make everything better. The thought made Lily shudder. She had heard stories about Dr. Marcel. Dreadful stories. She should tell Edna the news. Okay. Marcel, you say? This confirms my worst suspicions. The doctor and I still have an old score to settle. Oh. I'm sure he's coming because of me. <sighs> I can't stay here any longer. I'm going to leave the convent and go into hiding for a while. There's just Ooh. one catch. That guy Garrett, who's constantly lurking around, I think he's spying on us for Mother Superior. Yeah, probably. Knows into everything. I can't move freely. Can anyone move freely? Way to keep him off me for a while? Uh, sure. Really? I <laughs> You're such a gem. What would I do without you? Who knows? I don't even know. What can I click on? I can click on Edna, embroidered pillow, and mar I marbles. Lily didn't have any talent. I don't have any Mother talent. Only allowed her to embroider crosses and lines. Oh. Barely managed even those and often received a scolding. Oh. Suka and Shy. Oh. Uh -oh. The fuck does this mean? What are they going on about? You don't have any talent. Shut up, Robert. You you do good. Shibuya hair. Why are you gawking at my hairdo? Don't it's cute. I am my original Marushu Naoki hairpin. Can you believe it, Shy? Don't believe. Just know. The warriors of light see with the power of love. Just who does she think she is? Hiroyoshi Superfrog's arch enemy Soki Nuroshi Maya Yoki Hagatsu? Down with the dark forces! Trust in the elf magic of the glitter dust! Exactly! Everyone knows that a real Shibuya girl will only part with her hairpin if it's a real emergency. And only if facing death. Hiroshi Sparkle! Mystical spirit of the wolf! Mystical spirit of the wolf! Kamanukri! Shing! And anyway, what even makes you think we'll let you have any of our personal things? You haven't launched any radical paramilitary campaigns or done anything to help destroy the state. We can't let the dark forces win. Plus, you've never helped us destroy the school. Does being warriors of the light really mean we have to destroy the school? Welcome back, Zap. That's a little too hardcore to me. The Riot Girl does it too. On page 31 in volume Jesus. 53, she puts one of Naga Yuzu's detonators in the teacher's lounge when the dark forces I get it! These two are weebs! Shibuya is cool! Be your sparkle! Okay, are you done? Jesus! Welcome back, Zap. How was your tea? How was kitties? Christ! Okay, alright. Um. Okay. I guess I'm talking to them again. Shibuya power. Shit, girl, 
girl, you're so clueless about trends. Just look at how you dress. Don't you know that Shibuya and only Shibuya Taste. is hot right now? Where's your glitter? Where are your Japanese accessories? <sighs> I'm sorry I'm not a fucking weeb like you too. Okay, moving on. Okay, where can where can I even go? Okay, end dialogue. In main hall, sure. Okay, main main hall it is, I guess. Oh, hi Harvey. Everyone hates weebs, even other weebs. Uh -huh. Garrett was already there. Lily watched how her slippery fellow student disappeared into the chapel. Oh no, that was Garrett? I thought, okay. Who's Harvey then? There's a balloon! A balloon! It was hopeless. Edna's balloon was hanging out of reach. Everyone hates weebs except for the fact we love each other. Okay, what can I click? Oh, there are so many places I can go. What the hell? There's a painting. That's the Last Supper. Lily had always liked the large painting in the main hall. Because you're Catholic. She a dining table after a big meal with a man in the center who had found the last cookie. Lily giggled at the thought that he was <laughs> all by himself, no matter how much the others begged. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Is that what you think the Last Supper is? Are you, you stupid little Catholic girl. Okay, let's just go into the stairway. What can I- oh god, so many things to click on. Um, what's- sad mask, happy mask, angry mask, chandelier attachment. Stairway. I feel like- Appropriate. With her bare hands. She needed a different tool. Do I have any? I have this marble. I have marbles. I have a rest. Okay, what's this air hammer do? Let's try that. Okay. And as long as Lily didn't have a compelling reason. Okay, fair enough. Let's check out these masks. What? See what he has to say about those. No. The mask was tightly screwed into the wall. Okay. Also mean that one wasn't allowed to take it. I'm sorry. Small enough to loosen the screws. Oh, what luck. Lily was relieved. I have to click on the other two now. The mask was tightly screwed into the wall. But did that also mean that one wasn't allowed to take it? No, it only something. Oh, what luck. Okay, okay. Does a sad mask do anything different? The mask was put to bed. All no. Okay. Oh. All right. Uh, it all has the same, same, same sound. So that that's fine. Okay. What's here? Oh, vines. Deadly nightshade. Apparently, I have some now for some reason. Fireplace. A hook. And a bracket. Oh, I don't want to go back into Mother Superior's office. Superior placed her kettle over the fire here, but at this time of day, she preferred to drink her calming tea in the cafeteria. Okay, have a good lurk, Robert. I appreciate you very, very, very much. That disobedient children were hung from this hook. Otherwise, Mother Superior used it to hang her tea kettle over the fire. God, what a rumor! There seemed to be some kind of bracket. Right, it looks like to hold a torch or something. Yeah, that's what goes there. Okay, let's go back down here. Bullies! 
Balloon, chandelier. I'm gonna swing from the chandelier. The chandelier was dangling out of reach on a chain. Going, going all, all the, the way, way to, to the, the tower. tower. Okay. This always made the children want to swing from it without ever being able to. All right. Everyone wants to swing from the chandelier. Covenant hallway. Okay. What do we got here? Oh god, so many places. Gargoyle. The gargoyle seemed to worry about its companion, but it also didn't lift a finger to stop it from falling. Typical. Typical. The school clock was out of reach. Obviously. The gargoyle had lost its balance long ago. Only a thin rope was stopping it from falling. Oof. Why didn't it just give up? <laughs> Anything else? Oh, firecrackers. firecrackers. How did they ever get up there? What else is there? Oh god, so many places. Main hall, maintenance flap, collection, classroom. Okay, let's just start. Let's just go in order, I guess. Excuse me? Gotta use bathroom. Okay. Looked like the blades of swords in a fantasy novel. They really made you want to pierce them. The gargoyle had only a what? Can I get the fire, fire quackles? How did they? Okay, let's go back to the hallway. Okay, collection. I don't know what this means. Oh god, what is this, old man? Hello? Uh Hey, don't touch it. <laughs> That's my old Boy Scout equipment. Only certified Boy Scouts are allowed to touch it. I'm not a boy or a scout. Hey, don't touch it. That's my old Boy Scout equipment. I I can tell you stories that'll make your ears ring. Some of them are about my old Boy Scout equipment, but only certified Boy Scouts are allowed to touch it. Is he gonna so get your hands? Hands. Oh. Guinea pig jar, shelf space. There were three empty pedestals on the shelf. Okay. Something. Or nothing at all. Uh, probably nothing. I have a guinea pig jar for some gar jar with a guinea pig. Why do I have that? I um. And he's asleep again. Oh, never mind. I woke him up. Mm. Yeah. Animal, the um, hawk, but I don't mean the remake. I mean the original with with extra ketchup, please. Huh? You you good, buddy? Uh, uh, how rude of me! I forgot to tell you. Um, to oh tell God, you that's how sour. It used to be when the pyramids were built. I'm I sorry. Lager on the north side. Yes, yes. In my life, I've unified. Unified Tibet, I said. Back then, I served as a carpet beater under three different Dalai Lamas. For one of them, I was even there as a rebirth assistant in the maternity ward. It was very different from the year I was an interior decorator for the Mayas. Build a mythical sliding puzzle here. Hide a few artifacts in dark alcoves over there. Oh, yes. I was building secret crypts when you were still in... In... In the indie band Inquisition Overload. But it flopped, unfortunately. The time wasn't right for that kind of music. Plus, our drummer had the plague. No. Uh, I got old. So old that all I'm good for now is as an exhibition piece for history class. Class. 
Uh, uh, oh god, I can make him. I don't want him to tell a story. Okay, let's just... We're gonna move on. We're gonna pretend we've never seen this old man before. Okay. Oh. Okay. So, cabinets. Once again, Lily's effort. Oh, come on. Only Mother Superior could open the cabinet. Of fucking course. Eagle model. Why? That as a For what? Brit um, <sighs> Her name is Bridget. Trying to distract me, Lily. Unlike you, I actually have a sense of duty. You don't get to be Mother Superior's favorite by just standing around like a moron all day. Shut like up, you. Bridget. Hard to get all those honors and rewards. The only thing I'm missing on my path to perfection is the Golden Girl Scout's dad on a ribbon. That's why I'm working overtime to perfect my avoidance. <laughs> <laughs> How rude. Stop bothering me. But what if I don't want to? I'll never get my last award. The Golden Girl Scout's badge on a ribbon. Oh, yes. Be quiet now. I just had a great idea for what I could put on the missing cafeteria banner. Damn, it's gone. Thanks a lot. Great job, Nanny. If you want help, ask Mother Superior. About a suitable animal romance. I'm already done with all my patterns. Oh, congratulations. At this time of day, Mother Superior is always in the cafeteria drinking a soothing tea. So Ugh. don't wander into her office. We're not supposed to go in there alone. And I'm going to go into her office. Depend on it. I'm going to go to her I'm going to go to her office. I'm going to go to her office. I'm going to go to Mother Superior's office. I'm gonna go to her 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 office. And you can't stop me. What are you gonna do? How are you gonna stop me? You can't stop me. I'm gonna be bad. I'm gonna be a bad girl, and I'm gonna go to Mother Superior's office. Told you, I'm gonna go into her office. Dumb waiter. Lily had a basic understanding of how the dumb waiter worked. You took out the food and put the dirty plates back in when you were done. Yep. What else can I? Ooh, lots of things to click on. Potted plant. Welcome back, Zap. The cheerful flower seemed to like Lily. At least it bent forward just a touch when Lily came close. Okay. Then receipt holder. A note was pinned on the receipt holder. Dear Mine now. Cross out. Ms. Zimmelback, I have to say I'm very surprised by the way you fulfilled my request to send me a pet for my student's classroom. I had a real animal in mind, one that conveyed important values, like a puma a or a boa constrictor. Okay. But the guinea pig you sent. <sighs> Is useless to me. I in alcohol to save it for the dissection class in biology. What? Be a proper animal immediately, or you will not have heard the l l last of me. Regardless, Mother Superior ignored. That's jar with. <sighs> Why? 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 Either there was a picture missing here, or there was one too many hooks. Ah, <sighs> uh, that's not creepy, not at all. Lumpy was hungry, or he was tired, or uh. bored. It was always hard to tell with him. Lumpy's bowl was nicely decorated. Life as Mother Superior's pet was probably wonderful and fulfilling. All right, I'm going to leave Mother Superior's office now.
Okay. 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 What do we have here then? Creepy Lily. Creepy Lily. How did it go with Mother Superior? Leave her alone, Shauna. Only if she admits that all this trouble is her fault. We're, 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 we're not getting any d dessert? That's right, Memphis. And we can't play outside anymore either. Yeah. He's asking too much to want to know why. Stop picking on her. You don't yeah. really think that Lily, of all people, has done something wrong, do you? She's just not cool enough for that. Exactly. She's such a good girl. I am she a good stays, girl. She cleans. She cooks. It's disgusting and dangerous because somehow it always ends in a disaster. Isn't that right, Lily? Yeah, that's There's true. I am kind of prone to disaster. It's been one strange accident after another. I uh, hardly dare get out of bed anymore. But none of this is your fault, is it? After all, you only do what you're told. That's I only do what I'm told. Aaron from Mother Superior, right now. Let's see. No, no, I'm not. I'm not doing doing any. Not doing anything for Mother Superior right now. Nope, nope, not at all. Nope. Recipe. From Mother Superior. Well, I think I'll hold on to it for now. Ah, uh, how rude. Let's see how Mother Superior likes having to wait for her food. And this time, mm -hmm. Lily can face the music all by herself. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, guys. We're off. Okay, bye. How rude. Okay, to the chapel, to the well. Okay, let's go to a cafeteria last, because I don't want to deal with that shit. What's this? Oh. Where had Garrett gone? The chapel to the window! <laughs> to the well! <laughs> oh, I can go into a confession booth? Should I go? I'm going to go into a confession booth. I need to repent for my sins. Lily spent a lot of time in a confession booth. Only she knew what she mumbled during those long <laughs> hours. At least ever since the father who took her confessions had died of a heart attack. What? Forgive me, father, for I have sinned. I don't fuck. Do I need to start doing like Hail Marys or something or like Alternatively. Never mind. It's that's lewd. Exit the confession booth. Bracket. The carving showed a begging monk with conspicuously empty hands, but something was missing. Dignity, for example, but something else too. The good old confession booth. Yeah. Has been coming here often since the self-flagellation had stopped working. The what? Okay, stone slabs. Stay off the slabs, okay? Okay. I'm interfering with my research. I'm not touching them. The cross looked very unstable. Lily thought it would make much more sense to simply place it upside down. Yeah. Not opposed to the idea. Frank was completely occupied with the stone slabs. All right, all right, all right. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I'm wait. waiting. I'm waiting. No, nothing. Ah, uh, well, you were wasted my time. Resonance echo in the floor. Where there's a resonance echo in a floor, the hollow space can't be far. A crypt. Or a hidden pool salon for Templars with outrageously hip hairstyles. What? Your question is completely justified. What would Templars be doing in a pool salon? It's just one of the countless mysteries surrounding the Templars. Where did they come from? Where did they go? Did Where they did they come from, Cotton Eye Joe? And who was their hairstylist? There's just one answer to all these questions. 
aliens. Or that. Then dig them up. Me? Why me? Um. Sorry, Lily, but I'm just not interested in small talk. All I care about are church conspiracies. <laughs> There's a lot to talk about there, but unfortunately, most of it's secret. Secret. The right tool, I won't be able to uncover the secret. So either you go and get me the tool I need, or you just leave. That would be fine with me too. Um. The holy illuminescence of the stone slabs. And if they lose their illuminescence, they certainly won't be in the mood to reveal their secret anymore. And there's no doubt that they have a secret. I know Templar symbols when I see them. Where there are Templars, a secret crypt with details on church conspiracies can't be far. If only I had the right tool to drill them out. Then all I'd need to know is which slab to drill under to get my hands on the church conspiracy. If it's one the church conspiracy. Because there are those with the neck and those without. Lily was impressed. Everything Frank said made sense. Oh, she understands this? Uh. Shh, for a second. Oh, great. If there's just been a landslide in the Templar subterranean crypt, then now I've missed it. How the hell are you supposed to uncover church conspiracies if you keep getting interrupted? Just the constant stream of people going to confession is getting on my nerves. I'm the sorry. Mice, they're as quiet as church mice. I have no idea who they are. They creep into the confession booth and only come out when it gets too noisy for them. All that will be over with as soon as I have the right tool for my excavation anyway. Do you want this air hammer thing? I'm stepping on your slabs. Ah, I'm very good. This is what you wanted? Exactly what I need. Now, if I only knew where to drill, but such knowledge was probably lost long ago. No one is old enough to still remember the age of the Templars. Otherwise, I'm sure I'd have long since had that church conspiracy by the scruff of its neck. Oh well, I'll just start. Okay. Oh, I found him. How am I supposed to work with all this noise? Hey, Frank, Frank! Ah, what the hell? Go goodbye. The cross wobbled back and forth like it was dancing. Lily she dancing. She dancing. Whether she should point it out to Frank, but he was busy drilling through some kind of anchoring. Surveillance. <gasps> surveillance room hard evidence that Garrett was spying for Mother Superior. A surveillance. Yeah, 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 yeah. You already said that. Okay. Um, I guess to the main hall again. What, what did I what did I take? Okay, we'll close it again. I don't know why I took a board. Okay, let's just go back out again. Okay. To the oh, to the well again? Oh, you. Um. <laughs> Why do you have a lighter? I would like it back. Yeah. Oh, fuck off. And you know that too. You can tell your beloved mother superior that I don't give a damn about her stupid rules. 
We know you don't. But I think you're too scared. You're scared of your echo, right? And yeah, a little bit. One day, when you least expect it, who knows? You might turn around and see that someone has stolen your milk. <laughs> but I'm lactose intolerant. Oh, you really want the recipe back, don't you? I kind of need it. I didn't know that. Just give me a sec. So I can wrap it up for you with a bow. Oh, that would be very nice. Was touched. It was so rare for her to give presents. You so don't have a clue, do you? Get lost, Lily. Oh. I'll be forced to call you names. Oh. That's not very nice. Yeah, I'm a real badass. Just face it. You're not tough enough to make any demands around here. Mmm. -hmm. A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> You're such a crybaby. Okay. Well, oh, the second. What's this? <laughs> standing up for yourself? <laughs> Just look at you, Lily, with your bow and your braids. You it's cute. Bad boy like me, do you? Kick him! Playing with matches before you said your first morning prayer. How Kick could him! I ever take someone like you seriously? Do you know how to spit cherry pits or hunt sparrows with a slingshot? Punch him! Face it, you'll never be as tough as me, and that means you won't get your recipe either. God, why is he so mean? Kick, kick him. That's what I'm saying. Kick him. I'm going back to the cellar, you meanies. To the backyard, going back to the backyard. I'm outside. There's nothing they can do about it. This is mine now. This ball of wool was a, a symbol, symbol of, of friendship. friendship. Really wanted it to stay in the treasure chest for eternity. Oh, okay. Uh, I, that's in the meantime, fine. Lily had collected many little treasures. Yeah. But no treasure was as important to her. As her friendship with Edna. Oh. The yard waves were rotting away leisurely in the composting bin. Yeah. Paradise. Lily couldn't stop. Okay. Okay, I don't think I can click on. I don't think that there is anything else of use back here. Okay, and <laughs> it looked like the and would you he would probably Okay, alright, nothing new there. Let's go back to the covenant. Or convent, I don't know. Into the cafeteria. Go into the cafeteria. Thank you. Okay. Free space. Something was missing here. Yeah. Even if it wasn't Lily's fault this time, she felt guilty anyway. Yeah. Just as a prevention. Yeah. Edna always knew a few good jokes about bananas. Banana, but banana, she banana. Was such a good girl, she didn't understand any of them. Oh. <laughs> bananas mine coconuts. We're quiet today. But it didn't matter. By now, Lily knew enough about shrunken heads. Oof. Mine. Lily liked apples. Apples are they good. Were healthy, and sometimes you found worms in them. Yeah. At least they listened when you spoke to them. Okay. I'm dropping frames. Shit. 
Okay. Hi, Anne. You impertinent little slob. Oh. I can't stand it when people gossip about me behind my back. I'm sorry. Today is becoming ever more insolent. No wonder, with all the violence and foul language in the media. If I could, I'd twist your heads off. Like I'm sorry. Uh, where are my cannon jars? I'm sorry. My fingers. Otherwise, something terrible might happen here. I'm sorry. Hmm. What's the matter? Why are you staring at me like that? What are you even doing here between meal times? I don't know know what I'm doing. A jail sentence commuted to ten years community service on probation thanks to diminished responsibility. Blah 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 blah. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mother Superior didn't want to hear it either. And as long as she doesn't ask about it directly. Okay. <sighs> Anything else? Do I have to explain it to you with puppets? Yeah. Real time ended long ago. The only thing that I'm still cooking today is food for Mother Superior's cat. And the food for Mother Superior herself. Or I should say I would. But my knife disappeared. And on top of that, the stove in the cellar has gone out. So I couldn't cook anything anyway. However, the most important thing is that Mother Superior still wanted to send a recipe to me. You don't happen to have it on you, do you? About that. No recipe? Uh-uh. Yeah, then there's no reason for you to be here. Mm, so mean. So mean. Uh, forget the recipe. As long as the stove and the cellar is out, I won't be cooking anything anyway. God, so mean, so mean. You, before you ask for more food again, it's been hours since I held a canning jar in my hand. My hands always get a bit nervous at times like this. They break mm. everything they touch. Children's legs, children's arms. I just can't control them. Um. Uh, now I understand. You came to complain about the food, right? Well... And I have bad news for you. Children only get food from canning jars. And that's that. My hands are trained to twist the lids off. I haven't been bringing the next of K's chickens for 20 years for nothing. Plus, I've got a court order that says I gotta open 10 jars a day. You can thank my idiotic lawyer for that. Hey, bye. I guess I'm gonna talk to Mother Superior now. What are you creeping around here for? Be uh, Don't tell me you're done already. Uh, uh, That's what I thought. I am slowly losing the will to keep constantly having to remind you ch ch children of what good values are. Take a look at the embroideries on the wall. Good Please values, my ass. Superiority, strength, and self-control. Um. I'm quite aware that self-control is missing. Do you think I'm blind? <sighs> now leave. I have to drink a calming tea. Okay. Remind Birgit to hurry up with her embroidery. Birgit. Self-control motif. Not okay. I will really blow my top. Okay. Goodbye. Convent hallway, I guess that'll do. Oh, who are you? Hello? Um, Lily. Lil hi. I hope Shawnee didn't upset you too much. Uh, I think you're great, just as you are. Thank Lily's you. Skipped a beat. This might have been the nicest thing anyone ever said to her. Oh, I love him. You seem so tense. I am tense. Wrong? Everything is wrong. But she didn't want to give Edna away. Uh -huh. Well, if you need anything, I'm always there for you. Uh, oh, you will. I love you. You seem so tense to something, Lily. Uh -uh. Well, if you need, I worry about you. I love him. Can I keep him?
Hey, Birgit! I'm gonna distract you. I'm gonna distract you so hard. Nope! Not mm, haven't worked hard day, day in my life. Why don't you get to the point already? You seem to be lacking a few important lessons in values and standards. Have you learned anything at all from my multi-award winning embroidery? Each animal has an assigned character trait. Bears represent strength, and deer stand for heroic valor. There are negative role models too, of course. Mm -hmm. The porcupine. 